Okay, so how do I make my rig, rig for live fish? All right, I'm using cigar, 50 pound. You can use whatever um, test you want. This is fluorocarbon. And what I'm doing is I'm using a one and a quarter diameter foam. As you can see, the hole goes to it. And the plug has a hole in it too. So um, you won't lose the plug and you'll see why in a moment. See that? So we're going to... got everything all tied off I, I'm using Mustad ultra points demon perfect circles these are 2x um, because I'm just going off of a pier and shoreline I'm only using one and a half pounds so I'm not going to use uh, two-way swivel I mean three-way swivel this is just a lot simpler system now for the fish you can have it straight up but i kind of like to have it up but still dangling just to here so what i'm going to do is let's see now about like that see what i'm doing here shove that in Pull up on that. See, there you go. So this way, um, your your bait will be suspended off on the lead, and when the fish something hits, it'll pop this out. Uh, and this way, I think it's a better presentation. See, look at that. Just drive it in there. I think it's a better presentation like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a live bait needle and this is wax dental floss. You're actually better off using a non-wax, but I, I couldn't find any Walmart they, that they, what's better about the non-wax is it, the line won't stick together. This will stick together and, and it, it, you can still work with it, but you know it's not not gonna be as easy and you notice that this is roughly about maybe um three and a half inches long it's doubled and i i did a double granny at the end just to close that off okay we got our live bait for today from our fish trap so drive this in above the center bone uh you can go front or back I prefer the back most of the time. Okay. And right now he's kind of lively, so. And he's slippery. Okay, you see what I'm doing? Grab this end. You have to grab one end. There you go. That's all you have to do. And now you just run your hook through that one end. And this is where heavy non-wax comes in. See, the other end. So what you do, stick your finger in there, twist, twist, twist. Run it through again. Twist, twist, twist. I mean, we used to do this back in the day to catch marlin and tunas. We were using um, small tunas from the buoys. See, twist, twist, twist. And there we go. So let's go put this back in the water really fast. revive himself there he goes so we're gonna walk him out there but I'm gonna let it sit in the water for a little while <laughs> all 
Okay, another one of my favorite types of um, bait rigs. So I'm still using the uh, Cigar 50. I call it a floating hook rig. Basically, you slide one hook down. Okay. Get the other hook. Use whatever type of knot you feel comfortable with. I prefer Palomars for 60 pounds and under, easy to tie. Never had one break at the knot yet. As long as you tie the knot correctly, this knot will really get you by. Wet the line. Cinch it up. Alrighty. So, the reason why I, I call this a floating hook rig, I don't know if there is such a thing. I just call it that because I, I like doing this one, and I'm not even sure if I saw this somewhere, but I've been using this for a while. This is dead awama. Awama in Hawaiian is for young goatfish. So, when the goatfish start coming around, this is what they look like when they're young. So what I normally do is I, I put one hook to the eye socket and let's see this is why this is my um fishing mobile and this is why I got it came with the cover in the back so thank god for that but I will clean it off after every use see with the sliding hook going up and down you could actually use this for live bait too See, look at that. Isn't that neat? And and to make sure that stays there, I use my um, thread, my poly thread. So I just take some wraps at each end. And you just pull it. There, look at that. Now that is ready to go out isn't that nice and um you can use this for light bait but it's gonna this would restrict it so if you use it for light bait don't use the poly thread on it but that's that's my system for uh what i call the floating hook now to make sure that your lid is enough because i'm only using a one and a half see i'm just gonna let it down and it will take it down. So the one and a half is enough. Okay, halfway, almost halfway down the pier. Normally I would carry this in a small bucket of water, but this certain type of fish is pretty hardy. Obviously we're gonna be after anything that's predatory here. We're not gonna send it too far out. We will keep the drag fairly tight because whatever it hits, we don't want to send it, have it, I mean, come to the pier and try to wrap itself around. Okay, this is good enough. Gently, you don't want to do it too hard because you don't want the fish to rip off. 